everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and this is my sister. My name is Katie. She's Katie, she's annoyed because it's taking forever to film this intro. Today- Emily cannot figure out how to say hello. Is your name. Yes, this is true. Today we went to the used bookstore and now we have a lot of books to talk about. Don't we, Katie? Yes, yes. we do. Okay, do you know how this works? You say books. Yes, we say our books. We can switch off. Okay. Do you want to start or should I? I can start. So I got five books. The first two books I got are pretty stereotypical young adult books. Um, I got Everything Everything and Paper Towels. What are they about? Why did you buy them? I think everyone knows what they're about. Just, just why did you buy them though? Because I'm the only one who hasn't read them. Okay, valid. <laughs> okay. Um, the first one that I got is Untamed by Glennon Doyle, and this one is a memoir, and I got it. This was the only book that I set out to get that I actually got. This one I got for a book club that I'm starting with my high school friends, and I don't really know much about it other than everyone wanted to read it, and it's a memoir. So, that's that. Yes. Okay. Um, and oh, sorry, Kat. my next book is Everyone Brave is Forgiven, and it's a historical fiction novel set in London from 1939 to Brandon? <laughs> <laughs> Emily, you're so irritating. Aren't I? The next bucket. <laughs> next bucket. <laughs> the next book that I got is Everyone Brave is Forgiven and it's a historical fiction novel set in London in, um, from 1939 to 1942. Splendid. Splendid, splendid. Okay, the next book I got is The Muse by Jessie Burton, and this one is like historical fiction, historical romance. It's about a woman named Odell Bastien, and she's a Caribbean immigrant who moves to London, and she's trying to make her way in the painting world, and she and she uncovers a bunch of secrets in the art world and all of the deception and dark sides to it. It seems. The next book I got was by Isabel Allende. Allende? Yes. Allende. Allende. Isabel Allende, A Long Petal of the Sea, and it's set in 1930s during the Spanish Civil War. And I've heard a lot about Isabel Allende. And <laughs> sorry, I'm not, I don't speak Stop. Spanish. Just put a Y there. Why? Okay, I've heard a lot about Isabel Allende, so I wanted to try out some of her work, and the cover is also pretty, which is a valid reason to buy a book. Yes, it is, it very, is pretty very pretty. The next book that I purchased is The Age of Miracles, and it's about a girl named Julia who wakes up one morning to find that the rotation of the earth has slowed, which has a lot of repercussions, as you might imagine, <laughs> really? for how <laughs> the things go works. in the world. Yes. And I think that the cover is cool, but also it just seems interesting. And the next book I got was The Great Perhaps, and it's about a guy who's a paleontologist and his wife who's an animal behaviorist. And I really have no idea what it's about at all, but I was intrigued and it was only $5, so I figured I would try it out. Plus there's a squid on the cover and a bird, and that's cool. <laughs> I feel Stunning like observations. When you buy the book versus renting it from the library, renting it, when you buy the book versus borrowing it from the library, it matters if the cover is pretty. Yes? Yes. Yes. I also got a book called The Bookish Life of Nina Hill, which I think I saw on Goodreads recently and it seemed intriguing. And it's basically a woman named Nina who works in a bookstore and her father suddenly dies and she finds a lot of different family and she has to figure out who they all are and decide how involved she wants to be. And apparently I really like books that are about women named Nina who work in bookstores because I read a book about a woman named Nina who worked in a bookstore recently as well. So that's a fun fact. The next book I got was called We Were the Lucky Ones by Georgia Hunter, and this book is about a Jewish family in the years leading up to World War II, and I read a lot of World War II historical fiction, so I figured this would be right up my alley, even though I hadn't heard of it before. And then another book that I really know nothing about but it seemed interesting was A Doubter's Almanac, and this is about a kid named Milo Andre, and he grows up in the woods of northern Michigan, but then he goes to UC Berkeley, and he's kind of a strange child, so I think it'll be interesting to see how he navigates life in general yeah yes yeah okay the next book that i got is i am not your perfect mexican daughter are you not <laughs> oh, wait. You're so annoying. the next book that i got today is called i am not your perfect mexican daughter and it is also about a girl named julia whose perfect sister olga dies but 
Is she as perfect as she seemed? Ooh, secrets lie deep underneath. I have no idea what this book is about. Are you done? Is that all? Yes. Okay. The last book I have is Le Scaffold Toi et le Papillon. And this was the only book in French that I could find in the whole Oui, le français. This was the only book in French that I could find in the whole store that I was remotely interested in. The French section, was, French section was sadly small, and I wanted to get at least one French book, so I picked this one up. It appears to be about a guy who's paralyzed, and then he can only communicate with one eye, so if he blinks, he blinks once to say yes, and blinks twice to say no, and he figures out a way to communicate the whole alphabet, and then he's writing this book by using his eyes, and someone is transcribing or dictating. Here he's dictating, sort of using his eyes, and then someone transcribes the book for him. So that seems interesting. And yes, that is the last book I got. Books, books, books. Which one, what book are you most excited about? The book that I'm most excited about is Everyone Brave is Forgiven, just because it seems interesting. And it's a shiny cover. I am also intrigued by shiny covers. This is the book that I am most excited about. Now, we should pick a book from each other's pile that we want to read. Okay. I think. Okay, do I put them on the ground? Sure. Okay. okay. I want to steal this one. The I am not your perfect Mexican daughter. This one seems interesting. Mm, Katie. I like think? squids. <laughs> I like squids. <laughs> Katie Hasser. No, I. <laughs> I do like squids, but I also read the thing to this book and it looks interesting. Okay. So, but also squids but also squids. Okay, those are all the books that we picked up today. Thank you so much for watching and comment below which of these books you would like to read. Make sure to like and subscribe for more of this riveting content. Yes, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.